Finally! Yeah! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one! <laughs>
So, yeah, no, it was quite interesting. I was like, pretty happy because I'd probably prefer to play the game at 60 frames per second anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, that was on the last stream I noticed. I didn't uh, I didn't think I'd become a 60 frames a second snob. But uh, playing Warzone, I did a I did a pan left and I went, whoa, what's going on there? It took me a beat to realize it was a 30 frames per second pan. <laughs> oh, mate, it's very hard to get back on. <laughs> very hard. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Like, that didn't take long at all. Like, what, a month? <laughs> yep. Yep, never going back. Yeah, a month and throw that PS4 Pro in the bin, it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, did you also see that um, Spider-Man released a 60 frames per second ray tracing mode as well in this last update? No, I didn't. Is that the Miles Morales or the remastered uh, one? Both. Oh, okay, cool. I'd have to reinstall either of them to check it out. Uh, yeah, it was Miles Morales first, and then I think it was a couple of days later they um, announced Spider-Man Remastered and had the same treatment, so not bad for you Spider-Man lovers. Beautiful. Well, I do love the Spider-Man. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I might... Uh, have they roadmap for us? Is there DLC for Miles Morales, like, three months away or something? Have they indicated anything in that front? Oh, I reckon they have said no DLC will be released for uh, Miles. Oh. So we just have to wait for the next year, like the next... Major release. Yes. Oh, I think we'll probably hit us 2022. Oh, have they not even dated it? I'm so fingered not on the pulse at the minute. No, no, no I definitely haven't dated it yet. Um, but I'm just kidding. I haven't spent nothing mentioning it. The only one that mentions what Golden War 2 2021, 2021, but I'll believe that when I say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure we'll see that this year unless it's not the full sequel and it is definitely it's like a Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh gosh, they wouldn't do that to us, would they? Has there been rumours of that? Well, I don't think it's because they didn't come out and say God of War 2, they said God of War Ragnarok, so I'm like, well, is it like a bridging story between that and 2? Oh and gosh, I hadn't heard or considered this at all, that's uh, very saddening. Oh, I you something to do this. <laughs> oh, headshot though, I'll, that puts a smile on my dial. Man, the sniper scope feels great on the DualSense 5. Does it? Phenomenal. Man. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, is that that's gotta be a legendary, surely. Or epic. Maybe it's epic. I think purple's legendary, yellow's epic. We're probably confusing Fortnite terms and offending a whole bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's all boobs by everyone. Come on, guys. It's because we play so many games. Yes. It's too much data. That's our problem. <laughs> That's right. Uh, if I had a choice between too many games and not enough games, I know which one I'm choosing. 100%. 100%. All right. Yeah, where have you gone? Where are we off to? Is there an active mission or did we complete it and we need to find one of those little markers? We completed that one. I'm looking for a market now. I'm saying. Oh, I can't even remember. Is there like a um, a ping you can put out that highlights stuff? Oh yeah, summoning your vehicle does that little ping. Very good. I'm trying to. Is it right at the top there in the middle? Can I see it sitting? Yes, I think I've got one here, Steve. Am I? I think I'm coming right now. Yep, I am. Start a patrol. That sounds like us. Starting. Starting control. I was just bringing me so many, so many memories of Destiny, even just playing the, um, the actual beta, which was just this level that I played for hours. Yes, you and I both, man. I got so good at soloing this bit. Oh, I was annoyed. I just like knowing none of it was going to carry over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the plight of the beta tester. Ubisoft do it the best by at least giving you like in-game trinkets for years to come. Like, oh, you're in the beta test of the original, you know, division or something. Have this trinket in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, at least you get something for your efforts. Yeah, a little something. Alrighty, uh, yeah, this way we go. Oh, there they are. I have to say though, Destiny and Destiny 2, some of the best handling first person shooter action you can probably play. 100%, couldn't agree more. It just, it just feels good to shoot things. 
with the dual sense five as well. I know I keep banging on about it, but it's seriously that impressive. Oh, it's, again, I can't attest to the new Series X controller. You can, but I dare say the dual sense probably uh, got your number to this. Yeah, the dual sense five shits all over the Xboxes one. The Xbox one feels too light and toy like, and then they've gone for like this bumpy ridge on the back like and it doesn't sound like much but it's yeah. it's the it's like you could hold the dual sense 5 which would be like having a bit of paper on your hand or holding a like bit of sandpaper like and i don't mean rubbing on it but just holding a bit of sandpaper you know how you can feel the individual fat grains oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an uneven surface you can feel the uneven surface Oh, it's bizarre, and because it's like a lighter toy feeling controller and it's bumpy, it's just like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, so, what have you played on the Series X so far? You've played the Invert Note So, here's what I did today. This is what I was uh, working, uh, working on earlier today. I've picked up. Um, I've picked up Cyberpunk 2077 as a digital game on the Xbox so I could compare the pair. <laughs> and I've uh, I put uh, I put maybe an hour into Cyberpunk and this time I've done it as um uh, what corporate corporation corporate whatever the corporate corporate yeah uh, I've done that. You're playing as a nomad, aren't you, on the PlayStation? And a nomad on the PlayStation. So I'm getting a slightly different experience, but it's good to see where the overlap is and the diversion points to really get a feel for it. We've got all three, because I'm the street kid, so I've got it all covered. Nice work. And I assume they pick up, they pick up on the street kid as well for the nightclub mission? Like, when you meet up with, uh, is it Jackie at the nightclub? Yep, so that's the common theme point. Everyone comes together there. That's it's I was very close to going nomad because I liked that idea of starting out in the wasteland, badlands, whatever they call it. Yeah, that was really cool. That reminded me very much of Mad Max. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, oh, this is cool. I want to play as that character. But I'm like, at the end of the day, you, you can't really pick what your clothes are because you just pretty much pick whatever is stats-wise and you end up looking like a weird. Yeah. Yep. And when are they going to do third person? Oh, my God. Flashbacks to walking out that door in this section of the map. Yes. <laughs> Space, spaceship landing as well. Oh, my God. That's crazy. It looks so much better now. Like, that ship, everything about this environment looks so much better. It's crazy. It's kind of this probably why uh, Halo had to go cook for a bit longer. Considering yes. Probably a next gen game. <laughs> That's so true, man. Halo, um, the screenshots video we saw of Halo doesn't hold a candle to this. Oh, this is probably a great point for you to remind everyone watching. This stream's available in 4K, 60 frames a second. So if you have a computer monitor or a 4K monitor you're watching this on on YouTube, you can click the little cog thing, expand out, and go to 4K. See what we're talking about with all this fancy high frame ratedness. It's uh, it is a sight to behold. It's worth checking out. Sorry, Steve, you were saying, man. You'll never go back to thirty frames again, people. <laughs> oh, I've got the relic. Look out! Now, is this uh, still a monster closet in here? Oh, the old uh, yeah. I think they patched that out. I used to remember seeing this thing like now is just um, <laughs> grinding epic, epic gear. Loot cave. The old loot cave. I loved it. Yeah. Yep, I uh, I spent a bit too long on that loot game myself. Yeah, back in the day, I used to go buy um, PlayStation Vita and I'd um, stream the game into my bedroom, so I'd just, <laughs> like, sporting my weapons. <laughs> well, That's no, awesome. I'm about to go down. <laughs> oh, should I head back? Sorry, I kind of ran in that monster closet and then just kept on going, but I can double back to that main area if... Uh... Uh, it's all right. I'm doing pretty well out here on the lights. There's just there's a relatively low but constant stream of dudes in here, so it's kind of easy pickings for this uh, the current quest or patrol or whatever mission. There it is. Oh, mission complete. Good work. Oh yes. Oh, let's go heavy weapon. Hold. That's right. Hold. Oh man, I'm up the top where the two power generators are. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I'm playing as the Titan, so I've got the very much the, uh, what's his name? Thor's Hammer, I'm all about it. It's following on from the Valhalla playthrough. That game just has me all about Thor at the minute. I'm watching Marvel, I'm watching the Thor films, and I'm just loving it. Oh, I love it. I need to get back here. I still, I've like refused to play it until they patch that where the PS4 just stops installing the game for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't noticed it try and reinstall it for me in uh, in a good week, man. I think you're clear of whatever bug that was. Oh, okay. Let's hope so, man. I'll keep going. I don't even know if I've got enough hard drive space for a team to try and install oh. So. I hear that. That is the biggest problem with the PS5 at the minute, is uh, playing delete the game that I'm not really finished with. <laughs> yeah, we need some uh, SSD expansions. Yes. But did I tell you, man, they don't even have the steering wheel turned on for Dirt 5 yet. Like, plug in a USB oh. steering wheel, it's like, bro, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's crazy, but then the Xbox, like, fully has backwards compatibility support. For my steering wheel, the old arcade fight sticks, everything. The Xbox has the firmware totally on lockdown. Oh, yeah. It's weird, they've got like little bits of ebbs and flows there. Like PlayStation's got its like, you know, in front of some places, Xbox seems to have it others. Yeah. Yep. Oh, now, did you catch um, any of the Game Awards stuff released now? No, but you've brought it up, so I'm going to put you on the spot. When are we going to record the Let's Discuss? Because I'll, I'll watch it, you know, only sort of a few hours before the Let's Discuss, so it's nice and fresh. Oh, I can do it soonish, hopefully. Um, oh, what have I got next week? Oh, next week's Christmas, isn't it? No, I'll be my two days off on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So <laughs> you've probably already got plans, I'd, I'd guess. <laughs> So let's go Christmas Day. <laughs> lunchtime? No one usually does anything Christmas lunchtime. No, we should be fine. <laughs> um, otherwise, maybe what's uh, not tomorrow, Thursday, maybe. We'll work it out after the stream, man. My people call your people. We'll lock something in. Sounds good. But, uh, yes, yeah, so a forthcoming Let's Discuss on the Game Awards... Uh, shortly prior to which recording, I will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes for nearly four hours, so good luck. Oh, wow, really? All right, then. Uh, maybe I'll uh, do it over a couple of days. Is it four hours watching it video on demand, or is there a lot of uh, skippable moments? Oh, there's a lot you can skip most of it. If you just watch a video that says what was the best things announced during Game Awards, you'll probably be fine. That's a good... It, Jeff Keighley himself's probably done a supercut, I would think, a couple of days after the fact. Probably. He probably does. He's pretty good old Jeff. They did a very good job considering COVID. So I've had so many people come through and awards. And... Yeah, I don't even know what it looked like. Was it on a standard stage or did it look more like a Zoom call? No, nah, he was on a stage and then he had like a big sort of set behind him where he had like calls come through on a big screen. So it actually looked really well, really, really good. Okay, cool. And he had celebrities giving um, awards and stuff. Counter Reeves like, making an appearance? Who? Counter Reeves? Counter Reeves, yeah, he did actually. Nice. He was there towards the end. And they, they had um, Brie Larson and uh, oh. you know, kept them up. Yep, yep. <laughs> And, um, Spider-Man. Was it there for Marvel's Avengers or was she involved in a different project? Uh, no, I don't know why. I think she was just there. She had nothing to do with it. Game was. Oh, okay. She wasn't associated with the product. Just like, I'm a celebrity. We're going we're gonna to use you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there you have it. Get some views. Sure, why not? Well, maybe, maybe we'll get Brie Larson. <laughs> 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 I think she's probably doing her hair that night. <laughs> uh, you can't summon a vehicle in this location. <clears throat> My gosh. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. How Holy moly. You can see off into the distance, people. Look at that scenery. That is phenomenal. 4K, 60 frames a second. YouTube.com slash Loud. We're playing. What is this? <laughs> Destiny 2. My God. What an update. If you're a Destiny 2 fan, uh, you should be salivating for the PlayStation 5. This is... Uh, my radar until I saw you install it. I'm like, oh, I forgot it was getting its um, next-gen update. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. 
Yeah, and it's surprising because this is kind of wanting me. I kind of wanted now to get the most recent DLC and actually pay money for the game. Well, did you play through the install? Because I didn't know where the paywall was, but it's really short in, man. You sort of fight across the top of that frozen planet and you get yeah. through like the first boss wave and enemies and then it comes up with the big prompt screen. Hey, if you wish to continue the story, give us okay, 74 or 79 bucks. Oh, I reckon I must have got very close because I fought, I think, up through the snow bit. I fought a boss that came down, I think, and then I... Up on the roof? near There's like three generators up on a yeah. roof? Yep, that's it's, exactly what I did. It's immediately after that. As soon as you finish that mission and then try to do the next objective, that's when the paywall is presented. Oh. So you got right to the end. Pay for it. You got right to the end. But, um, yeah, I must have, and I did um, go to pay for it, and I'm like, oh, maybe I can swap my next mission, but I didn't actually try it, so it obviously would have just said, nah, you're locked out. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that's it, that's the point. Uh, that's how they get you, Destiny, free to play, but not really. But gee, it looks good. I'd give them the money even if it wasn't new content for how good this looks. This makes me just want to replay Destiny 1. It like, does, like, base game, does. this is phenomenal. This is, like, stunning. I can't believe how good this looks and how little people are talking about it. Oh, I know, and it's running flawlessly as well. Yes, not one crash. Not one. That being said, I haven't had a crash on the PS5 now probably in two weeks. I'm trying to even think what my last crash was. I have had a few um, firmware updates, haven't I? Yeah, they have been rolling them. No, I have. I did the one that updated the dual sense controllers as well. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was over the weekend. Was that like last Friday or something? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's about right. Whoa, you've got some company. Oh, whoa. Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. Yeah. Thor's hammer. <laughs> Man, I love that. It is so cool. That's awesome. Look at you. <laughs> the visual effects on the hammer, though, the way it glows and shines, that's amazing. Dude, watching the fire, like the end of the end, the spinning around in the sky. Yep. Oh, shit. Not. Just further up the hill. Is that dude on, like, Santa's sleigh? What's going on there? The cosmetics in this game have taken a turn. <laughs> oh, man, we've looped back around to the start. Oh, we have two. Look out. When? when did that happen? All right, how about we check out some uh, Crucible or something, dude? Do you want to try some uh, Let's PvP? Let's have a look. Let's return to orbit. That first level of Destiny, that is uh, phenomenal. The only thing we need is Peter Dinklage talking in our ear. <laughs> Peter Dinklage, the ghost. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone recast as a role <laughs> where, where, where your voice is augmented. <laughs> oh, my God. Did they uh, patch him out in IMDb as well? Did they just remove the credit? Uh, they probably did. <laughs> uh, but replaced by none other than Donald North, Nathan Drake himself, who also plays um, Kate Seaton. Gaming Raptor, good work in the chat, mate. Thank you very much for the moderating in there. I appreciate it. I know it's getting a bit tougher as we approach 5,000. There seems to be a bit more of a raucous in there. All right, we're heading to the Iron Banner. I didn't, play, I didn't actually play much. Uh, so is this uh, PvP, player versus player? Okay, it's been a long time since I've done any player versus player in Destiny 2, this will be interesting. My go-to move used to be the melee attack, but I think it's been nerfed, so I don't know. <laughs> I think they're just going to mop the floor. The boy was bad at Call of Duty multiplayer on the stream that I was with that day. Uh, you wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, I can actually call you in. You can voice it. I've got a one or two thumbs up. <laughs> Jess, Jess has jumped on into the YouTube chat and Jess is calling for a clip of Steve so people can visualize you could self. So uh, here you go. Big double thumbs up from Steve on the stream. There it is. Two thumbs way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's so it's so live. It's not daytime there and nighttime here at all. <laughs> and it's the way you do the frame accurate, perfect double thumbs up to the second every time. It's flawless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
lots of practice in now. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Anyway, still searching for guardians. Come on. That's what I mean. No one, no one knows about it. No one's playing Destiny 2 at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is Yeah, so I think that answers the question, Steve. There is no cross-gen support <laughs> and nobody realises it's out. No one's playing, so let's... Uh, let's do, can we do like a daily quest, whatever they call them, daily, uh, I don't think we'd be geared for the heroics, but if they've got the daily strike is the word I'm looking for. Oh, is there a daily uh, strike? Strike. Now, this menu has changed since the last time I played it as well, so I can't. <laughs> you and I both, I'm like, I think you used to just pull like L2 in and then select it or something. I can just, I can just do this part of a, let's do this part of a campaign, Legacy Shadow Keep campaign. Go for it, man. Fire it up. I'll follow you into battle. Let's do that. It wouldn't let me do the K61. Apparently, you, you can't have more than one player do the K61. Oh, okay, yeah. Too narratively contingent upon one person? It would appear so. <laughs> Even that planet, the loading screen in orbit, that looks phenomenal. And if I'm not correct, I'm pretty sure it didn't used to load this quick either. Oh, hell no. I reckon they've halved the loading time. That used to really hang. Oh, look at this, it's already loading. That's phenomenal. There are improvements left, right and centre and nobody's talking about this game. It's crazy. They are all playing it. <laughs> and it's surprised Bungie aren't doing a huge push. Like, they are selling the 75. They got me as soon as I hit the paywall. I gave them the 75 bucks. Oh, we've got a cutscene rolling. Oh, Look out. Skip it because that's what we're known for, skipping cutscenes. Oh, absolutely. That's perfect. You've taken over control. I love it. In we go. <laughs> In we go. <laughs> right, and we've got a cutscene, which I'm going to have to... We'll figure it out. Oh, we'll get there. The bad guys. Shoot for the bad guys. Yes. Enemy shoot. Oh, I tell you, Steve, the uh, the shotgun controller on Rainbow Six Siege and the DualSense 5 would be enough, I think, to convert me to playing shotguns, the feel of that shotgun. Ooh, that is a big call. It's got... Um, uh, I'm going to use all my technical knowledge of guns and say when the gun goes click, click after you shoot the shotgun and you reload it, <laughs> uh, you can feel the trigger go click, click in your finger and it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Really? Yes. I love, a, I love a good click, click. The old click, click in the, uh, the not trigger finger, the aim finger. You know, you're still aiming down the scope and the chick, chick, and it click, clicks, and you're like, oh, yeah. Play any game. Well, see, I noticed it and enjoyed the shotgun feel in that game, and at no point in Call of Duty did I enjoy the feel of a shotgun. Okay, well, we're going to have to get into the development series about fixing their shotgun. <laughs> well, for me, I would almost say the Rainbow Six Siege is the gold standard for shotguns at this point. Oh, wow. The um, assault rifle, nothing beats nothing beats the feeling of what is it, the Krieg 16 or 6? Like, <laughs> 6. Krieg 6. Nothing's beaten the feel of the Krieg 6 yet from an assault rifle in prone position. <laughs> I'm getting very granular in my recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, if we can get free last for our list discussion, I'm sure we'll get on with the other person to our crew. They should have to get sensitivity. Coming up never on youtube.com slash giggle out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm coming, Steve. I'm coming. Oh, I missed it. Oh, but I died in the same spot. Perfect. <laughs> Very I'm gonna wait. I could respawn, but I'm gonna wait. I gotcha. Nice work, man. Behind you, behind you. Where? <laughs> oh, look at this. There's particle effects everywhere. Oh, it's phenomenal. This is kind of gonna be excited for. Uh... Next Halo on Series X next year. Oh yeah, the next Halo is going to be mind blowing. I think now with another year under their belts with the game, almost pretty much done. How it is just to polish it for a year, and it's going to be coming out on Halo as well. Some kind of anniversary, twentieth anniversary, twenty-first anniversary. Oh, is it? My God, that makes me feel old. <laughs> so no. <laughs> no. It's definitely the clock is going to come out on its anniversary, so they're going to want to take it going. 
<laughs> yeah, that's gonna be amazing. Oh, there's so much going on on screen right now, and there is, it's just a solid lock 60 frames a second. There's a million things happening, and it's just, it's fine with it. It's like, yep, no worries. No dips, no streaks, Terry. Nothing. Nothing. Phenomenal. Have the PlayStation 5 people. Yeah. <laughs> Power your dreams. How are your dreams? Oh, how, how many um, crushes have you had on Cyberpunk? Yeah, hard crashes. Hard crash is not a one on Cyberpunk. Not one hard crash. Not one. Not one. I've had, th I've had three. I'm probably six hours in. Yeah, well, I've only played twice, so I'm like three hours in. About three hours in, and I haven't seen it crash once. Yeah, okay. It's been pretty minor. Like, it's got a pretty good um, save system. Even if you're not saving, it's pretty much auto saving most of the time. So, and the oh, thing, yeah, very good. Yeah. Shut it down. The game in minute, so even if it does crash, you're back in pretty quick. Yeah, nice one. I've uh, I've just been paranoid saving it constantly. I didn't even think to rely on its auto save system. <laughs> So I do like the game where you can save whenever you want, but the problem I find myself is, yep, absolutely that. You just always lose at least. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, oh, it's been at least three minutes. I'm going to save again. <laughs> better save just in case there's a decision around the corner. <laughs> the wrong one. And now, Steve, how many save manual save slots do you roll? Do you just do one, or do you have, like, a rolling three, or...? I try and keep it to one, and occasionally I might have to take it to two. Like, I've just taken this two in a portal, Phoenix Rising, as of today, and I reckon I've got three in now, uh, Cyberpunk. Is it story related? Like, are you like, oh, it's a big narrative choice, I'm creating a new manual save, or what drives it? Yeah, that's probably it, I think. Um, I'm trying to think what. Oh, yeah, it's usually if I do something, I've done, I'm about to do something, and I feel like I might want to try a different way as well. Yep. I thought I was a stealth option, and I might want to go back. But yeah. I definitely try and, yeah. Sort of no rhyme or reason. <laughs> I'm a I'm a rolling three manual save slots, and it's from Mass Effect One on the Xbox 360 did it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I missed. I couldn't even tell you what the achievement was. Now I just know I missed an achievement. Like a there was a break in story, and I, I made a choice without manually saving and moved on, and then tried to go back for the achievement and realise I burnt myself. Oh no! So since then I've just do slot one two three, slot one two three, slot one two three, in the thinking that I'll work it out within half an hour that I uh, that I've done something foolish. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Let me say that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, of course, I uh, have a strategic system with my saves, though, and uh, nobody ever better mess with them or I'll lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we've got endless storage on the PlayStation 5 to continue to do so. It's true, but I'm forever concerned about the uh, two young boys in the house and grabbing a controller and just, oh, I'll free up some space and delete a few of these save files. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your set up to automatically save to cloud? Yes, they always automatically push up to the cloud. It's uh, I'm still terrified of it though. And Xbox is the worst because Xbox will do it without even asking you. Xbox is like, it's all right, I've got to take a back seat, I'll keep it synced. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like Xbox's uh, smart delivery though. Right now we can just put a game in it, it knows what console you're on and which one to pick up. I agree it's cool, but I've done two now uh, speed tests. It was uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Destiny 2, where I installed them simultaneously on the two Xboxes. Uh, sorry, on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Um, both times, the PlayStation installed quicker. Really? Yeah, by about 10 minutes. Oh, wow, there you go. So I've been racing them out of... It's definitely more confusing on PlayStation, making sure you've got the right version and then the disc auto installing, like PS4 version or PS5, like that's utter nonsense and shouldn't be on there. But um, if it goes well, if everything works as it should, you're in and gaming quicker on PlayStation. Of the two I've tested, it's only two. It's, uh, it's anecdotal data at best. Yeah, I'm sure they'll uh, tidy stuff up as well. 100%. Oh, that was the other interesting thing. Now, I can't remember if it was Destiny or um, Rainbow Six Siege, but one of them was 10 gigs larger on Xbox. Oh. 
so with smart delivery, it was still larger on Xbox, which was pretty crazy. Oh, that is weird. Xbox has got slightly more hard drive space, doesn't it? You started with that 800 and something gig. Ah, uh, yes, they, they are different, and the Xbox does have more, but I can't remember the uh, the raw numbers. And of course, you can chuck in that uh, one terabyte expansion as well. The, uh, oh, yeah, if you've got the, uh, what is it, 200? Oh, my goodness, I've just jumped off the world. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Watch that last step. It's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I, I better take a little look at the chat here. I've been derelict in the YouTube chat. I apologize, everyone. Uh, catching back up. <laughs> Someone's rickrolling in the chat. Always good for a laugh. Never going to give you up. <laughs> uh, question in here from Sean Games 257 Are you going to stream the new Call of Duty Cold War update when it comes out? What is the new Call of Duty Cold War? If that is the, I believe it's the Warzone, the native PS5 Warzone update, in which case, yes, 100% yes, I'll be streaming it date and date as soon as it's available. But I don't know the date. Steve, do you happen to know? Is there, have they locked in a date for that? If they have, I haven't heard it. And I'm pretty up to date with most updates. So if there was a date, I probably wouldn't know it, to be honest. Yeah, if no fair call. We don't know about it. But yes, whenever it happens, I'll be all over it. But if anyone in the chat does know, feel free to let us know. 100%. Let us know in the chat if you know out there. Great call. <laughs> <laughs> you got me that guy from Georgia you 100% got me with the recall it is running through my head <laughs> the boy suggesting uh, we add YouTube memberships uh, it's an interesting idea maybe it's something we discuss at the 5000 sub mark I don't know Steve it sounds like something we should probably have an offline meeting about first how about we uh, hold on to that conversation for a bit well, sort of, yeah, Christmas Day, yeah, it was, yeah? Yeah, Christmas Day, lunchtime. No one's doing anything. We'll do a live stream and work out what the future of the channel looks like. All right, everybody, you heard it here. The first time is Christmas Day, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sure <laughs> The stream will start and be interrupted 30 seconds later by two very angry wives. Can <laughs> <laughs> <And confirmed. laughs> Hey, there's an Epic on the ground over here. I'm assuming Epic's purple and I'm not offending people with Fortnite terminology again. Legendary. 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 It's legendary. Of course it's legendary. Who would ever suggest a purple is an Epic? That'd be crazy. We're just testing them. Just testing Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at the, uh, the, the yellow glow in the atmosphere when you walk into that. That's phenomenal. Oh, so good. This stream's available in 4K 60 frames a second. Do yourself a favor, roll it back 10 seconds and watch me just walk into that hallway at full res. That was mind blowing. That was really nice. Oh, Steve's on his bike. That can only mean one thing. I should be on mine. Hey, Steve, do you think it's crazy that the bike's in uh, Destiny 2, the accelerator is L2? Is that the craziest thing ever to you? Because yeah, I kept doing this before with my trigger and we're all rolling left and right. Yeah. Yep, I'm like, when, since when is Accelerate not R2? Like, what's going on? Oh, no. Like, again, I do that as I push the because I was pressing the same button to sprint, expecting it to be that. But you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally backwards. It makes no sense. I don't remember writing it to me, it just kept wrong, Drake. All right, I've got my uh, MC Hammer out up here at the objective, and I'm going to town. Look this. You can take the boy out of our holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Steve, that game is so good. You've got to devote a large portion of your life to it over the next coming weeks. Oh, I will. The problem is I really can't get hooked on this Immortal Phoenix Rising. I'm just kind of doing the art. Oh, and... I haven't even been game to boot it up because I'm sure I'm going to love it. At this point, I'm fully committed to Cyberpunk. It's uh. Unless well, anyone gets your status Assassin's Creed, so it's probably good to have a break. That's all. Yeah. If you do like Assassin's Creed, you're gonna love it more or something. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Like the art style, everything about that game looks like I'll enjoy it. And uh, yeah. but yeah, I've gotta 
I can I can definitely dual fist a bit of Destiny and some Cyberpunk, but I don't. I think that's me with a full plate for the next probably two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you there. It's um. Exactly the same. Oh, very nice. With how clean this looks, my gosh. It's weird actually playing this. I was like, oh, this looks random. Having to side like expecting side like to look not as great because it's a PS4 backwards compatible. It actually holds up pretty well on my TV and the PS5. Yeah, it looks great. And I turned everything off. Um, everything off on the PS5 version, like all the film grain effects and motion blur and everything. Film grain, motion blur, yeah. turn, it, turn it all off. I turned it all off on the PS5 and so I got a good, you know, I'm three hours into it, two streams, so I've got a good feel for it. And uh, then I just started today playing it on the Xbox and left everything on full on the Xbox. And I gotta say, I think it looks better with everything turned on. Does it? Like, and, and it's very much, I'm talking about an aesthetic look here. This is about choosing the aesthetic look of having it all turned on. But I honestly think for the experience it is, because it's so character driven, it's so uh, story heavy, I think making it look more cinematic actually works in this game. It's the first time I've ever agreed with the developers and left it on. But now that I've turned it on and seen it on there, I think I'm going to turn it all back on the PS5 for the next the next time I stream it, I think it's going to be all on. Mine well, has almost set itself back, and I haven't really even noticed much of a difference when I've done it. I'm excited, so it's good. So I might do the same. I encourage you to experiment with it, if nothing else. At least have a little play. Try the quality mode on Xbox for 30 frames per second mode, or you just play on performance? I haven't. I've just played it on performance. But um, you're right, and I'll flick it over and give it a try next time I'm... Uh, Hands on with the controls. Later on this evening, no doubt, I will uh, flick it over and have a look. Very good. I'll be very interested to know what, I mean, 30 frames. I mean, we've already discussed that. We're never going back there ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The graphics, the quality. Digital Foundry did have uh, very nice things to say about the quality mode on it. And apparently the um, density of the population, like there's a lot more people in cars on the Xbox quality mode as well. Oh, really? That's fascinating. Uh, I actually showed you side by side PS5, like barely any pedestrians compared to the quality of my Xbox. So for the performance mode, they're clearly uh, getting rid of some of those pedestrians to get that performance. Yeah, right. That's wild. Man, I've got to dig into that Digital Foundry stuff. They are so good. I think I, think I just saw one today they released about the older consoles. Can any of the old gen consoles uh, run the game at all? So I haven't watched that yet. Though. Did you see that uh, CD Projekt Red today offering refunds? Refunds, yep. Refunds. Best look to release a game and then come out and say, yep, you should have looked at those additions more. Well, it's fine to say that, but you wouldn't know what state the game was in when you released it. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I reckon they've, as weird as it is, imagine how much more flack they would have copped if they had have said, OK, we're going to push the release, but just for the Xbox One and PS4, if they had have released it first for next gen. Like, how crazy would that have been? Yeah, but you imagine though, because this game was supposed to come out in March? Yeah, that's true, that is true. Oh man, I was coming over to Reggie and I died. And we didn't have next-gen consoles then, so imagine if that was the only version of the game standing up next to the PC version. That is a that is a great point you raised, man. That is a great point. No, because I can pretty much see why they waited, because they wanted to release this thing alongside the horsepower of the PS5 and the Series X, I think. Yeah. It does make a lot of sense. All right, here we go. Got the res in. We're back. Thank you. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to take out another one of these giant purple fire cell on looking things. Uh, well, I don't think... I think it's just the one we're working on. Oh, is it moving around? It's just teleporting once we've finished shooting it for a bit. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, I'm just going off the single health bar at the bottom of the screen there. Oh, yep. Uh, cool. All right, I'm breaking out Thor's hammer. Let's go. Did you hit him with it? Yeah, if I can get it to uh, swirl directly underneath him, we get some uh, damage indicators. Oh, nice. Oh, that swirl looks incredible. I know, right? Look at the button. Oh, and me. I'm playing it like it's, uh, I don't know, something where I'm allowed to be on the front foot and I've got to be way more defensive. <laughs> Have I have respawned and I'm in a pretty good little tucked away corner here. I'm just 
slowly emptying magazines into him. Very nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yep. The visual effects, like even like in the middle where he blows, there's like a a sort of a blue through to an orange. Like it's just a, a two-tone thing, but it looks phenomenal. The various shades of sort of the color through there, it's just phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Can't be overstated. Don't sleep on Destiny 2 now, Hundred percent. All right. Oh, he's down. He's, he's going down. But Master Chief and his Pelican above us. <laughs> oh, did you uh, did you pick up Master Chief in Fortnite yet? I, uh, I probably was one of the first to do it. As soon as it was up there, I was like, oh, let's check this, because they announced at the Game Awards. I wonder if it's available, and I jumped straight on, dropped my 30 bucks, just like I did with uh, Kratos. Yeah, you and I both. I haven't, uh, I haven't picked up Master Chief yet, but I certainly jumped straight on Kratos. Wow, I'm in all sorts of trouble. I got absolutely swamped then. <laughs> As did I. That was phenomenal. Alrighty, this guy's almost down. Get ready to come get you. I probably can. <laughs> You'll get your chat. I'll revive you. Yeah, oh, uh, thanks, man. Sorry, I just hit square. Sorry, I was looking at the chat, quickly playing catch up. Uh, hello, the boy. Welcome. How you doing, mate? What is news with you, sir? Oh, geez, that's right. Big guy at the top. He's there. He ain't going away just yet. And <laughs> <laughs> I can get in this little corner, oh, mate. Someone's on me. Oh, oh man, I was just trying to turn a corner to hide and did not quite make it. Almost got there. Oh, I got to get you. Go, Steve, go. Now, what are you, a hunter class, maybe? Was he, are you a hunter? Yeah, I'm a hunter human class. I played the first Destiny all the way through as a Titan because I was like, oh, the most like Halo. <laughs> uh, so, for Destiny 2, I thought I'd change up a bit more agile and. Uh, yeah, enjoy. I've played a fair bit of Destiny 2, finished the campaign, played a couple of the expansions, and then just sort of went off it because it got to the point where I couldn't really play um, raids or anything because I didn't really have a crew of people to play with, even though yep. it does look, it's supposed to be some of the best content in Destiny. But... Yeah, I'm in the exact same boat, my friend. I'm in the exact same boat. It's, that was my fall off point. Got through the story mode, and I did it three times for, for each class. Yep, and the only way I got this epic done is I did run a raid by myself once, and there was a oh, wow. chest, there was an epic chest right at the start. If you can get through a couple of enemies, you can find this hidden chest and open it, potentially get an epic weapon. And oh. one, so. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, man. Was that Destiny 1? Uh, Destiny 2. Oh, that's amazing. I wish I hadn't known about that. That is the exact sort of thing that I would obsess over for, you know, weeks on end until it paid off in my favour. Yeah, so you, you, you can run it over and over again as well. Like, you have a chance to get, like, a couple of epic weapons. I think I ended up getting two or three epic weapons. Oh, uh, I love hearing that sort of stuff, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I didn't know it was a thing when it was a thing. <laughs> Unless you're going to tell me now that it's still something I could be trying. <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, Troy, fortunately for you, it's the rain that's available right now. Ah! <laughs> there goes my night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boys, drive yourselves to school tomorrow morning. <laughs> I've got a raid to grind. <laughs> oh, you should see the shadows that were coming off you as you ran through the hallway when I was behind that. These lighting effects are just phenomenal. Oh man, when the torch comes on, it's a treat. An absolute treat. I just, just think this is uh, effectively an older game that they've just up for this and it looks this good. When they start getting into the uh, bones of the PS5 and Xbox like, a couple of years from now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're right, the torch does it. The torch does it. And now I can't remember, Steve, is this, do I, should I, by default, when you're running around in Destiny, do you need to, like, go to the city first and pick up a bunch of uh, different bounties or whatever? Is it bounties you want to preload on? Yeah, I think it is similar. Like, yeah, you've got to go in there, you get bounties for how many kills you get. Yeah. Had it. Hey, dude, we're playing Demon's Souls. Don't go through the, uh, without the Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the old cloud door. Oh, they're on the myself another, I did beat myself another boss named Demon Souls the other night again. Solo, was it? Did you say sorry? Yeah, Demon Souls, another boss down last the other night. Yeah, good work, good work. Hey, you can walk around to the other side of that bar. Oh, I've charged up Thor's hammer again. All right, bring in a big guy. I want to right. smack him around. Oh, here they are. There's a boss uh, There's a yellow boss guy. Let's light him up. Oh, where is he? Coming after me. Yep. Boom. There you go, son. You can have some. <laughs> and you can have some hammer. <laughs> yes. Don't mess with Troy and his hammer. Look out. Oh my god, Assassin's Creed is so good. I got so pumped. Just the L1 button, the double L1 button, it comes in with a hammer blow, takes out the bloke's jaw and poisons him. It's phenomenal. I had the little funk in there. It was great. So now, now that you've finished it story-wise, good? Uh, spotty. It was broken up. There's uh, 16 different states in the end, and each state has its own, like, sort of one and a half hour story arc, where it's like maybe four to six missions, one story arc, four to six missions, and you're always putting someone in power. So it's like you're setting up the leader of each of the 16 states. So at the end of the story, you call on all your allies, you call on the 16 states, and the ones that you, the ones where you did the right thing and put the right leader in, they come to your aid. And the ones that you don't do so well on, they just ignore your plea at the end of the game. Uh, gotcha. Uh, a phenomenal gameplay mechanic, but the uh, specifically the East Anglis, it's called. The, it's a uh, early East level. I, well, I want to say it's like around the power level one hundred area. Best hour and a half story arc in a game. If you're only going to play one state and listen to the whole story arc, do the East Anglis one. That's the one. East arc done. All the others you could yeah, play good. mute, skip the scut scenes, and uh, listen to a podcast or whatnot, and you're not missing out on much but that east anglis plot line pick it a litter i've never seen anything like it done this if we weren't streaming on christmas i'd play christmas day <laughs> well maybe we could do two streams back to back ones where we decide what the future geek aloud is and the next one is uh us with an extended play <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why we're not why we're not interviewing uh free last exactly it's gonna be a big christmas here on geek aloud <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at you go. I would not have seen that little uh, path to run on. Look at you here. You probably could you probably couldn't have seen it in the studio. Oh that's a good point. Like, the great big whopping lights hiding paths. To be honest, I actually thought I was gonna die when I did it. What is going on? Yeah, it's got some control vibes. Did you play control? I did. I played uh, maybe four hours, maybe something like this. It was good, but some, what, something else came out like two weeks later and it just stole me. I can't remember what it was now. Got... What is that? It was pretty choppy as well because I think that was game was almost touted for next gen as well, but the hardware was making it very hard to run properly. So I ran the mess on the Xbox One X, which I had it on, and uh, I'll probably pick it up again when they release the Ultimate Edition. Oh, I thought you could. I thought the Ultimate Edition was already out. Is it not already out? It's, it's out, but the next gen update hasn't. Ah, do they have a date for that one? When's the date? No, well, that was supposed to be end of November, I think, but then they pushed it to 2021 because it wasn't ready. So the Ultimate Edition is still out again. Ah, I see. Expansions, you just don't have your R60 frames. (laughs) Yeah, the bit you actually want is the bit you can't have. The bit you want, yeah, that's right. This guy looks like a Deacon Souls boss. He does! All right, now I've got my uh, blade of whatever here. He's going full on, full on. Uh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm backing off here. I'm getting owned. No, I'm dead. I didn't back off quick enough. I am dead as well. Oh, we're both down, respawning. Oh, he's still here. It's okay. It's not uh, too punishing. In fact, it's not punishing at all. It's been quite accommodating. <laughs> back in four, four seconds, you're back up and running. And the boss doesn't uh, didn't regenerate any health in that time. It's awesome. 
surprising because normally these areas in Destiny, I remember they usually have like no respawn um, points. Yeah, well, when I was playing it today by myself, I'm like, man, they haven't really given a lot of thought to old players returning. I was getting my uh, teeth absolutely kicked in uh, until I got my first lot of armor drops. Once I got that first lot of new armor, it was okay again, but until the, until you get a full set, it was uh, yeah, really painful. It was uh, full on. Oh, that's you. Sorry, Steve. Lucky friendly fire's not on. Oh, jeez. Oh! Nah, I tried to, to revive you. This guy's sword is large. Good effort. Full points for trying. Full points. I'll take the points for trying. <laughs> guys, health is going down about as quick as it did, so Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, kill some of the fodder around the base so we can have a clean shot at him first. Hey, we're trying because I see it dead again. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's hammer time. Let's go. Woo! Dropping. Oh, shh. I'm getting up because I've run out of spot on my tree. What is going on here? Alright, I went to town on him and got... Oh, his health's regening! What's going on? What? Oh, what? I just worked his health down like a quarter and then it fully regen. Maybe... Oh, what? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Remember what I said about the game being kind to us now and not kicking our teeth in? <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, we're getting schooled. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be narrative pulling us out of there. Yeah. Is this one of the other expansions? Because there's been... I've just purchased the third expansion today, but I don't think I played through either of the other two. I think I started both of them and dropped off real quick. I'm trying to think if it's, I can't remember, it's, they all blend. I know I did all the ones for Destiny 1, I'm pretty sure. It's, I don't even know, I might have bought them and not played them, to be honest. Because <laughs> I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm like, is this one of the intro missions from one of the other things? I can't recall. Of the travelers. I think it, yeah, it must be. It's one of the campaigns. I don't know which one, though. Someone will tell us. <laughs> A raring assistance. So is this going to be quest complete now? Is that, uh, is that done? This looks suspiciously like mission complete. It's weird to fight a boss at the end, though, and do a mission and not end with a big chest. Like, where's the payout? Yeah, where's the payout? We didn't get anything. Well, I've got a few things, but nothing, nothing major. There we go. Uh, I reckon that's going to do it for tonight's stream. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. YouTube.com slash GeekLoud. We do these live Let's Plays Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sunday night, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern. Uh, some random nights like tonight, we do double-header multiplayer sessions. Keep your eye on the channel. Uh, you're always welcome to join them. Make yourself known in the chat. Friend me on Xbox or PlayStation. Names in the description. Steve, mate, thank you very much for joining us. Much us and the Brie Larson next time. <laughs> Steve's going to bring Brie Larson back with him next time. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching youtube.com slash geekloud. Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Oh! Oh, so <laughs> Finally! Yes! Avengers, assemble! He's trying to sweep up leaves in this world. And another one. <laughs>